To know all the latest information on this election day in the U.S., we contact Carlos Montero, Telesur's special envoy to Washington. Hi, Carlos. What can you share with us at this hour? Uh, so far, so good. The poll, they are going to close in a few hours, and the question is when we are going to start to know the first exit poll. It was uh, election day with a lot of stir, you know, a lot of stake, you know, people are worried what's going to happen, but there were not big incidents. For instance, here in Washington, in the Capitol a museum, very close to where I was, a man was arrested with a flare and a gun, but it was somebody who has some kind of mental issues. The police is saying it was nothing to worry. There were also some minor incidents in different voting, uh, voting uh, places all over the country but nothing uh, to worry. Let me talk about the candidates. Uh, Kamala Harris, the vice president, who closed last night her campaign in Pennsylvania, uh, exhorting his followers to vote for her, to ask him for a new America, America without hate, America the way we can love each other. And she's here already in the capital. She's going to wait for the result in Howard University. Howard University, it's university that she studied a long time ago. She was a freshman there, and that has an important symbolic value for her. On the other hand, uh, Donald Trump, who closed the campaign in Michigan last night, really late, 2 o'clock, I was waiting for him to see what he was going to say in the closing. And really, I have to wait a long time because he finished 2 o'clock. He flew back to Florida and his headquarters uh, they are going to be, he's going to wait for the result in one of the resorts he has in Florida. And he's going to be, he has something really interesting in this world. We talk so much about social media. Elon Musk, the owner of X, he's been promoting very strongly Donald Trump. He's going to be with him. They are going to be together and they are going to be sharing information that we, you, me, and a lot of people write on, on, on X of former Twitter, so that I mean he's going to have information beforehand how the USA, they are reacting about uh, the election. But we have to wait, like I was telling you before, no big incident here in the capital. is a beautiful day. Something about when uh, Donald Trump went to vote, he voted this uh, noon uh, in Florida, close to his headquarters. He said, I don't think it's going to be any trouble. They were asking about a measure that is in Florida about abortion. He didn't want uh, to ask, to answer that, that, that question, how he vote. And he was really, really calm, different than last night when he really showed his age. He was a little bit upset. I don't know why, but he wasn't himself. And this morning he was a little more upbeat. And he said he's going to wait, and he believes he's going to uh, win this election. And they asked him, what's happening if you lose? Uh, your people are going to accept the result. And he said, yes, of course they are going to accept, but I'm going to win. What about the polls? So far it's a tie, but let's wait for the exit polls to see if there is any difference. But so far we're still waiting in a few hours. They are going to start the first uh, uh, states that's so important. There are seven states. They are swing states. They can go like North Carolina, like Georgia, like Arizona. They could go either way. Philadelphia, so important. So let's see what's happened there. And we are going to have a better idea of this election that's really is historic, important, something we've never seen before in this country. A campaign like the one we had that finished last night and the election like today. But so far, this is the formation we have right now. And we are going to go back with you for the moment and come back in any minute. We have new information. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos, for all the first-hand information on this crucial event. We will keep in contact for sure.